Bo. I was drawn to you from the first day I met you. I was captivated by your smile, your sense of humor, and of course your dance moves. All things that I still adore today. <laughs> mm. Do you like my dress? Look oh my it. gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow, you look like a princess. I am a princess. You are a princess. <laughs> I like your bow tie. You are the most important person in my life. You are sweet, beautiful compassionate, intelligent, honest, caring, thoughtful, and pleasant. I love you so much. I love how you get excited looking at dog and puppy photos on Instagram adoption pages. <laughs> I love how you're always getting me to try new recipes, so I normally just eat chicken every day. <laughs> And I love how you keep me centered when I get a little wacky. <laughs> you take care of me. You're my soundboard, my voice of reason, my partner. I love going on trips with you, whether we're traveling from Mexico to New Zealand or simply road tripping. There is nothing I enjoy more than spending time with you. Our relationship wasn't a fairy tale. I think our friends here can attest to that but we stumbled and grew together and would always find our way back to each other. I know that we've only scratched the surface when it comes to life challenges, but I can say with confidence that we can get through anything together. In just the past two years, we had two weddings rescheduled, got married anyways, both made career changes, and purchased a house, possibly lost a wedding ring, all, <laughs> during, all during a pandemic. <laughs> that all seems like a lot, but it was so easy doing it with you. Since we first met nine years ago, you've matured into a beautiful, confident woman. And you have helped me grow, personally, professionally, hygienically, <laughs> and inspire me to desire to be a more wonderful husband. To quote Ralph Waldo Emerson, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. I've known this quote for a long time, but never felt the true meaning of it until <laughs> I met you. I don't know about all of you, but we're ready to move this party to the dance floor, grab a glass of champagne, and continue to celebrate this gorgeous couple for the rest of the evening and beyond. Bo, it's time to kiss your wife. <laughs> officially welcome all of you to the remarriage of Alexa and Bo. I don't do poetry, okay? I don't, no, I don't do poetry, but there's a musician that Tracy and I like a lot, and actually, Alexa and Bo uh, went with us to see him at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, and he released an album, and 
There, this album had a song, and it's a song from a father to his daughter on the day of her wedding. I realized that I can't do it without crying if I say it. So the problem is I can sing it, but I can't sing. So let me try this. And now you've decided to be someone's wife, and we'll walk down the aisle and give you, I'll give you away. The best I can do is let myself trust that you know who'll be strong enough to carry your heart. Being your daddy comes natural. The roses just know how to grow. It's easy to see you'll get where you're going. The hard part is letting you go. The hard part is letting you go. Bye. <laughs> oh.